Hello, this video will walk you through our new tool, the Bamboo Portfolio Builder. The purpose of this tool is to assist licensed institutions in creating model portfolios for their clients. Portfolio Builder draws on the concepts of modern portfolio theory in hierarchical clustering. It's built for enhancing efficiency in constructing optimal client portfolios while also providing an improved user experience. Let's see how it enables users to better explain portfolio diversification through easy to read and comprehend visuals. Once you log into Portfolio Builder, this will be the landing page. Step one is to upload price data of all the assets which you wish to include in the portfolio. This file includes the dividend adjusted prices of the assets, along with the chosen time horizon. Click on the Import tab under Price Record to upload your data either in a CSV or Excel format file. Step two is to upload your product dictionary. This step is optional and is required only if you wish to add constraints to your portfolio in the subsequent step. The first column of this file is a list of your universe of stocks, while the second column assigns a code to each one of those stocks. Here, you will also have the opportunity to classify your assets into four categories, UC, C, S1, and S2, where UC stands for Ultra Core, C for Core, and S1, 2, Satellite 1 and 2, respectively. The rationale behind this is twofold. First, we want our users to ensure that their portfolio contains ultra core and core products. Second, we also want them to think about the aforementioned products before they think about the satellite category of products. This categorization will be used to execute the first constraint to your portfolio, wherein the asset which you desire to have the highest weight is marked UC, second highest is marked C, third highest S1, and the asset which you desire to have the least representation is marked S2. Furthermore, you may allocate the assets to appropriate risk buckets in this file. There are two options. You can either label an asset safe or risky. The idea is to add a second constraint in order to ensure that risky assets don't outweigh these safe assets in your portfolio. The ER and EV columns on this file will allow you to incorporate your outlook on the assets by factoring in forward-looking factors, such as their expected returns and expected volatilities. These form the third possible constraint you can add. Once again, you can upload this file in a CSV or Excel format. So let's go ahead and upload this as well. And for added convenience, you may download templates for both of these data inputs by clicking the Download Template tab and update these same files with your data. Once you've imported the data, check the boxes of the constraints which you wish to execute and click Validate Inputs. Let's go ahead and add all the three constraints that we mentioned previously. This is it. In just a couple of steps, you will have an efficient frontier and an optimal model portfolio. The Viewing Data drop-down menu displays a list of items the software can feature. You can use this to do a secondary check of the data you imported earlier or to view values such as correlation which our system calculates for you. This data can also be downloaded in an Excel file. Finally, we click Run Plot to obtain the efficient frontier for our universe of assets. At this point, you again have the option to incorporate three more constraints. The first one allows the user to segment the efficient frontier in a desired number of bands. For instance, we want three segments, so let's select the Show Risk Bands option and enter three in the value field. All that's left to do is simply run the plot again. Note that the displayed graph has now adjusted. If you scroll up, you will see that the summary now displays the details of the portfolios corresponding to each of the three risk bands. The second constraint is an option between a logical threshold and a cardinality threshold. Let's say we want the minimum weight of an asset to be 1%, so we select Add Constraint and choose Logical Threshold. We then input 0 0.01 in the value field. Now, let's say we want a maximum of 5 assets in the portfolio. In this case, we can set a cardinality threshold and input 5 in the value field. You can also decide to omit these and apply neither a logical nor a cardinality threshold. The third possible constraint is to add the minimum and maximum weight that any security in the model portfolio can have. This will ensure that the weight allocated to any individual security falls between the minimum and maximum limit set. 
Once again, simply click Run Plot to obtain the efficient frontier with the added constraints. You can hover over the graph to display more information, such as different portfolio risks and returns. Our tool also allows you to see the efficiency loss between a constrained and unconstrained portfolio by clicking on the Plot Efficiency Loss option. It also allows you to pick your desired level of accuracy for the efficient frontier plotting. All you need to do is click on Settings, and then move the slider to your desired level, where 1 is the highest and 10 is the lowest level of accuracy. Lastly, you can enter a target return in the bottom right corner and our system will instantly calculate the respective asset weights and portfolio volatility. And of course, you can download the model portfolio by clicking on the download button. To make using our tool as easy and convenient as possible, we've created an instruction guide which you can download through Google Drive. You can click on the onboarding button for a step-by-step -step tutorial on the platform itself. And if you're still confused, don't worry. You can chat to one of our experts through our live chat feature. They will guide you and answer any questions you have. Be sure to ask them about our premium feature, where an expert from our team will help you create a model portfolio and assist you through all the accompanying tasks. For more information on Portfolio Builder and how to get access, or to even learn about our other products, visit our website. And feel free to drop us an email at info at Thank you so much for your time today.